Hi, this is Rick Moncher with PeckerGreats.com showing you our helmets, footballs, jerseys, miscellaneous items in this video. Uh, there's a second video that shows all the prints, canvases, and photos, framed, unframed, stretch, rolled, etc. So let's go through and let's start with the Holy Grail, Grail of Packer Helmets, the 5 MVP helmet. Anybody who knows me knows about this helmet. This is an exclusive project of mine. I literally spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to complete this because uh, there's 300 of them. It's turned out quite well um, financially, but it was a very big risk because obviously you hope that no one passed away while you were doing it. So what I did is I did it all in a matter of days. And how I did this was both chronologically and with continuity. And let's go through that here. So we signed him Paul Horning, 1961. Paul signed first. Well, I loaded up a rented rider truck, drove straight through the night down to Louisiana. Um, had Jim then sign them at the Cook Center at LSU, where I usually met Jim. And over to Bart to sign them. So then over Brett and Aaron. Now this one's a little bit different. I'll show you this one. The front is, is all the same. Again, chronological. I like the continuity. There's only the MVP inscription, except for this one. This one has Favre's HOF. And I don't know if I should wipe that off or not, if it makes it more valuable. If you like that, let me know. Favre, I was with Favre uh, about a year ago or so. Um, these helmets, he, he grabbed when I had it there for some reason. He just added that for free. And I didn't really have the heart to say, no, no, don't do that. But that's what he did. So... These came together because I represented Bart Starr and Jim Taylor. I didn't allow, of course, other companies to do this, to copy me. So there are 300 of these that exist. And they're all signed in 2012. Aaron signed 51 of the 300 in 2012. And now we signed 12 per year since then. So they keep you know, some exclusivity, some rareness, um, and certainly are very valuable. Beautiful helmets. Doesn't get any better than that. Now let's go through some other ones. Again, since I rent, represented Bart Starr and Jim Taylor, I was able to do some things that others weren't. Now, I really like these multi-inscription ones where I ask the player, what do you feel are your most important accomplishments in professional football? And you can see here what Jim put down on these helmets as I'm knocking them down here. I'm trying to get out of the glare so you can see it. Beautiful helmet here. Now, let's get this one here that I just knocked down. This is the uh, our Hall of Fame running backs. There's Jim Taylor. There's Paul Horning. Trying to get it so you can see it good. And now let's go over here, show you some more helmets. Here we go, it's the Hall of Fame backfield helmet. And that is, just so you can see it better here, signed by Jim Taylor. Bart Starr and Paul Horning. Nice, bright, bold signatures. Very, very nice. Here's my only solo Bart helmet left. Let's just zoom down here so you can see all that stuff. Get you a nice view of it. Beautiful signature. Beautiful inscription. My last solo Bart helmet. Now, Paul Horning... Look at it, beautiful. You can tell by the how big and bold and beautiful it is that it's not Paul from recent years. This was 2012. When I did the five MVPs, I had Paul do some multi-inscription ones. And here's an idea that I had that no one had done these before. And that is putting three things that I really liked. And that is uh, the Heisman Award, number one in the draft and in the Hall of Fame. Because, as you know from my previous videos when I asked this question, there are only three players in NFL history, who won the Heisman, went number one in the draft, and are in the Hall of Fame. Who are the other two? They're also running backs, Earl Campbell and O.J. Simpson. Now let's get over some the pro lines and all these helmets. These are not replicas. These are not Chinese knockoffs. This is, the, this is a pro line helmet. No replicas, no garbage. Super Bowl champs. Now, here you go. The three quarterback one. Obviously, next to the five MVP, this is probably the piece people want the most, but it's not as rare. There's thousands more of these than there is the 305 MVP. But it's great to get all three quarterbacks on a piece. 
This is an, just an excellent, excellent example. This was done in 2012, I believe. Nice pro line. I think I have only two of those left. Here's another Paul Horning. This is a thinner one, just a different style. I'll move back here so you can see it better. There we go. Now here's another Jim Taylor. In case you uh, wanted to get some Jim, uh, the lighting here again, I want to get that up. You can compare if you want a multi-inscription Jim Taylor helmet. Compare this one to the one you saw earlier and just let me know the time mark on the video of what you want. Here's another pro line. Aaron, when it comes to some of the current players like Aaron, basically I'm selling this at wholesale or, or probably less than my cost. I'm trying to concentrate on what most of you know me for and that's more the 60s legends. So good deals on that. Now here's a better one here. You got the you double inscription, the both MVPs on it. And a very good Aaron signature. And of course that's relatively speaking. Another pro line. Here's another Hall of Fame backfield one. Let's get down here. You might want to all that basic certificate stuff. This comes with the case. It's a special Packer case. It's got the engraving on here. I'll take that lid off so you can see it. Just a gorgeous helmet. Let me take this off. There we go. And take a look at the... It gets no better than this, folks, when it comes to bold, beautiful signatures on a Hall of Fame backfield helmet. I mean, it's just the spacing, the coloring, you know, the tone of the marker is, is so similar on all signatures. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Comes with the case. The case has, let me just, in the back it's got some photos. And the engravement there, I don't know if you can see it there. I'm not sure if I'm, the case is old. I'd probably replace it with a museum grade UV lid. But for now, the case comes with it. It's a nice little piece. Let's get into some jerseys right now. These are the Nike Limited. This is not some Chinese knockoff. This is the real deal. Whatever. Show you the... I mean, excellent Aaron Rodgers jersey. Now here are the other ones that ski the older Hall of Famers. Let me go. We got Dave Robinson, Hall of Fame, all the stickers there. A nice Paul Horning, Hall of Fame, Jerry Kramer. Now let's go back over here, show you some more. I got Devontae Adams. I think I bought about 15 of these and then sold them. And I was up at the Packer games for like 110 bucks each. So they're pretty cheap. Come on, buy, buy something. I'll give you any one of these for 100 bucks. Um, these, of course, are the replica jerseys or whatever they call them. They're not the... $150 Nike jerseys. There we go. The white. Is that the throwback one? Where's the signature? There we go. All the authenticity you want. There's some more. There's the home Adams. Let's see. Where's the signature down there? I'm not going to open these up. I mean, come on by. They're nice Adams. Now here's another Aaron Rodgers. And another double inscription one. I'll just kind of take the wrap off just for that so you can see it. But a nice Aaron Rodgers. Very nice double inscription jersey. Now, Jim Taylor. Same thing with Bart. I had Bart do some multi-inscripted things. I had Jim do 10 of these. So let's just take one of them out. There's four left. Jim sign. It comes with a photo of Jim writing it in. I always make sure that the, the buyer knows that it's not me writing in this number, that my players, Bart and Jim, would write in those numbers themselves so we knew there's not going to be more than 10. There we go. Let me just show you. So we've got two, three, eight, and nine left. Here's a Super Bowl, Super Bowl, well, the real Super Bowl program there down there is the uh, 
PSA, DNA, whatever, signed by Favre, the Super Bowl 31 program. I'm not going to take it out of the wrap. Here's a nice photo. If you want a nice 8x10 with a nice Brett signature, let me know. Give okay, let's go over some footballs and some other miscellaneous items right now. Let's start with Eddie Lacy. I got one Eddie Lacy left. Pennies on the dollar, let me know. Beautiful Eddie, if you're still interested in Eddie. Nice Aaron Rodgers right there. These are all authentic footballs, no replicas or Chinese knockoffs. I didn't think I had any Jordy left. I didn't have I, I pulled everything off my website, but I've got a nice Jordy left with nice inscription. Clay, you want some inexpensive clay? I'll just basically charge you for the football, not for the uh, signature. And here's an extra one, clay with the nice inscription. Here's a Paul Horning. And this football here, there's your authenticity. Let's take a look at this one here. This is, you've probably seen this if you're a collector, the 70,000 passing yards, 500 touchdown club, limited edition. This is number whatever, 126 out of 150 of them that were done or whatever it was. There he is. Brett Favre and Peyton Manning. Nice little football if you like those players. Now, Jim Taylor, same as with Bart Starr. I had Jimmy sign the, uh, you know, all the inscriptions, all his accolades of his career. But big, bold, I use the best quality, supposedly fade, fade free paint pens that cost three times more than the other pens. Hopefully they will be fade free. And there's the Hall of Fame backfield play, running backs with Taylor and Paul Horney. Nice uh, inscriptions. Now here's the Bart one again, as I said with the, uh, his jerseys in my other video. Look at that. There's only 18 of these footballs that exist, folks. Look at that. I asked Bart, hey, Bart, you're always signing what people ask you to sign. What do you feel are your most important accomplishments in football? He took a couple minutes, wrote down these on a piece of paper. He put it on, eventually, 12 helmets, 15 jerseys. There's one jersey left, and 18 footballs. I believe there's three footballs left. Look at that big, bold, beautiful, all his accolades. There's Bart Starr. Come by the room. Pick up the exact one you want. Here is the uh, sort of holy grail football here. There are only 18 of these footballs were produced. Um, Signed, I think we signed 14 of them so far. Aaron needs to sign a few more, but we're going to wait about five or seven years before we do that. And we got Bart Starr. This is the five MVP football. Nobody else has this. You've never seen it before unless you saw it from me. Bart Starr, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers with both of his MVPs. And there is Jimmy Taylor. Beautiful, five MVP football. It's the only one I've got left right now. In about seven, eight years, I will have Aaron do the last few. You now you talk about Bart Starr. Everyone says, oh, I got a nice Bart Starr football. Well, a lot of people, what they do is they sell their nice Bart Starr football and spend three or $400 more and get one of these. Look at that. Have you ever seen a Bart Starr football double inscription look that good? No, you haven't. Look at that. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece there. Now... You've seen the helmets with all three quarterbacks. Well, here's a couple footballs. It's the old Duke football, and it's got that white whiteness to the football. This one does. Some do, some don't. So there is the three quarterbacks. Here's one more over here. So you can say first one or second one if you prefer one over, one over the other. There you go. Look at the big Paul Horn in here. Big, 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 big signature. That's from 2012. A couple years before he started not, <clears throat> not feeling so, so well. Another Jim Taylor. Look at that. Now we go over to Aaron Rodgers, leader of the pack. Now, we get some a little bit more unique items here. The uh, Super Bowl ball, you've seen plenty of these. Super Bowl 31 balls, you've seen plenty signed by <coughs> Favre, even some by Reggie. But here we go here. Here's the main players in it. Reggie White, Brett Favre, Desmond Howard, Super Bowl MVP. All three of them on one football. Uh, 
This is one Brett just signed. It was signed before. There's the Authenticity by Reggie and Desmond Howard. So I had Favre sign it. This comes with a photo of Brett signing this exact football. Now, here's something very unique. You've seen footballs. I'm not going to take this wrap off because you can see the beautiful black signal. Usually black kind of fades. You're better off going with the silver paper. Look at Favre. It's just it's perfect. Look at Reggie. Absolutely gorgeous for Reggie. We're all relatively speaking here. Look at all these markings on the ball. Yes, this is a game used football. A game used football. The only one I know of a game used football signed by Brett and Reggie. Letter of Providence. I'll put it over here. This came from Eric Davis. Is used in a 1997 Pro Bowl. You can check the stats of the players. There's all the letter of authenticity. There we go. Beautiful ball. You want game use. You want those key players. There you go. Here's one. Look at this. The big and bold song by Bart. And signed by Aaron. Aaron and Mark. And I got a little mark in there. I don't think it detracts much from it. But if you want a beautiful Bart and Aaron ball, you can add Brett to it if you want to. And hope he'll sign it at bold and bright as those two did. But that's just awesome. Get a little baseball things here. I got plenty of cases also for baseball bats and baseballs. Um, the bat... I've got all kinds of Ryan Braun signed bats, all kinds. Just let me know what you're interested in. But let's go something that only 12 exist on the planet, and that is an MVP bat. There is the uh, Ryan Braun big stick bat signed by Ryan and Aaron. Of course, that was signed way back in the day, right after they both won their MVPs. They're not co-signing anything anymore, of course. Look at that. Excellent signature. And look what Aaron did. He signed 2011 NFL MVP. He wrote it all out. Normally he just puts, a, you know, 11 MVP and that's it. But since this was back in, what, 2012, I think it was spring of 2012, he really put out. Look at that. Just gorgeous bat. 12 of these exist. 12 bats and 12 balls. 12 baseballs. There's Aaron. And let's move this camera around here. And there's Ryan. Look at that. 12 bats and 12 bells, balls. There's a few of them left. They sold great for huge money right afterwards. And, of course, Ryan had some issues there. And that affected the sales, as you might well imagine. Lots of Ryan Braun baseballs also. I give you a great deal. Pennies on the dollar on this. No disrespect to Ryan because I've met him, and he's been nothing but a great guy to me. Um, but uh, they're obviously a little bit lower priced than they would have been. Here's something that's more rare than you think. I've got photos of Aaron signing these. I had him sign, I think, six plates in 2012 because I had uh, trophies to go on. One of the trophies got damaged, so I've got the plate. And as you know, Aaron's represented by Fanatics. They will not allow him. Aaron will not sign anything that's not an authorized product. Aaron will never sign these. Maybe in the future he could. You don't know. But for those of you who are looking for a plate, I've got one. It's more valuable than you think. Here you go. Self-explanatory, very inexpensive product. Don't know why I've got it even. Okay, let's go over to close here. Some mini helmets here, some very inexpensive pieces. There's a Clay Matthews. I've got a, a few of them here that have Aaron with 2011 MVP. I've got the photos of standing right next to him when he signed these things back in, I think it was March 12, 2012. So these are really inexpensive way under cost here's Aaron Rodgers leader of the pack let's see if we can get it any different here the views but I don't want to take them out of here as you can imagine there's Clay Matthews with his big play clay another Aaron Rodgers no inscription Aaron Rodgers with both his MVP years so that covers the mini helmets the miscellaneous items the footballs helmets and jerseys Thank you very much.